That bank is rolling all the way to the beach. You're walking on there now. We're just having a look. There's a lot of weed in the water already, which the guys can pick up. So we're waiting for the tide to drop. Wait out, put a put a bait. Also got some other guys here to put them into some fish. We're here at the Matikulu, that area. Testing out our new braid that we've got in, this new J8 braid. This is the powder blue color. It throws nicely. I've put 65 on, a bit heavy for what I was actually going to target. But we're going to go ahead and have a look, see what we can catch. I'm sure we'll get a raggy uh, later on as it gets darker and the tide starts pushing a bit. I'm sure the raggies will come. The water's still a bit higher. But we will have fun, and that's the main thing. On the banks at Ntanzini, we just came from the forest lodge. A really lovely place to stay, always stay there. Um, very neat and uh, convenient in this whole area to Port Durnford, to Ntanzini, shoot down to Tugela. Very safe. The beach is right in front of um, Ntanzini Forest Lodge. You can actually go right through the night on your own and feel fairly safe. Um, for the whole Zululand area, that's quite unique. So definitely a place worth visiting and uh, what we're doing tonight is actually a league fishing for Inkwazi but there's the Mpumalanga teams as well where Ray and uh, Jace are fishing. They're fishing their league as well. They're fishing a, a 24 hour session from tonight 6 till uh, tomorrow night 6. Um, and Kwasi is still deciding when they want to fish so we're just going to have a look see if the fish comes on and then I can put a bait in the water so I have to wait till about uh, probably half past seven if they decide to fish today and in the leagues you're allowed to fish uh, two rods some of these postal leagues um, which means you can put a slide out and still fish your grinder on the side you can fish two grinders you can't fish two slides though you can have one slide uh, one grinder or two grinders um, and that's how their rules work so I'm just putting getting the slide stuff ready as well and uh, there's a whole bunch of guys here that uh, Jason and them are also helping and getting into fish which is lucky to see and I hope the fish comes on look that the south started yesterday already which is not the right wind let's be honest so but this morning Prunellan and them got some sandies and a small honey um, yeah in this area so we hope they're still around but I think the diamonds will be uh, a bit scarce we're not gonna bank on any diamonds to start our competition here with Mapumalanga. We've just come back from Forest Lodge Inn where we've been sitting having a lovely bra. I'm here with Uncle Tommy and he's gonna go and have his first throw right now. Everyone's starting to wait out on the banks. We've got a lovely little bank here, deep deep water. And as you know what? Carry on. And as you can see Uncle Tommy is <laughs> coming back for his second round. I don't know what happened there. He forgot something. Hey <laughs> <His> shoes <laughs> Um, basically you're gonna walk out, you're gonna throw a bait and we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna slide a bait and yeah we'll just see. Biggest fish wins this competition today. Okay basically for the slide to work you need the line to go tight and to actually flick the bait forward. 
the further back you can get with it the more elasticity there is in the actual line and the easier that slide actually goes so what we do is we just do this for quite some time and the whole idea is to get that slide all the way down to the bottom so when you do get the bite you don't get burnt off and I see over there the first guy's got his fish on already little brown skate little brown Guys, got my salters 8,000 here, paired with 30 pound Daiwa J braid, um, paired with my salters Elite, 6 to 8 ounce, heavy, and uh, as you can see, I got this uh, little brown here, and uh, yeah, guys, um, it put up a decent fight, and as you can see, uh, this channel mustard got it properly in the corner here. I don't feel like a big fish. It's a bull nonetheless. A little brown skate. A tiny little guy who's playing with my bait for quite a while. Um, my first though I actually had a frigate on and nothing picked it up and then I changed to a macro and it literally took two minutes. And uh, yeah, we're on. So it broke out perfectly in the corner. Yeah, so what to be careful of is that business in there right there. You can see that, that double spike there. If that thing gets onto you, your fishing trip isn't gonna be pretty. So just be careful of that, eh? that part there. And it's very basic. They don't have any teeth, so hands in the mouth. And I generally hold the tail so it, it calms him down a little bit and it keeps you a little bit safer. And a good thing is to keep them as low as possible. Yes, please. How's it, guys? Uh, we're down here at Zinni Banks. A beautiful evening. The guys are getting a couple of browns. We're hoping to get some fish. Uh, thank you to Forest Lodge for the awesome accommodation that you guys provided for us. Look at this. Wow. This is the life. Water, seaweed, beautiful weather, friends, and then the Daiwa tournament. Wow. Come on, guys. Can you get better? Yeah, going back to the business. Forest Lodge, thank you. It was awesome accommodation. Really enjoyed it. Uh, guys, if you want to come down to the Zululand North Coast and Tunzini area, no better accommodation. Uh, I'm getting a bite. I can do this 24 7 365 days a year been on for about 15 20 minutes now and I'm getting hot so I need to strip and get all this off I'm gonna ask my buddy a problem to help me as you can see we are just like supermodels we got makeup team we got people to do our wardrobes <laughs> and what's better than getting a KZN Dolphins cricket player to come and dress me? Wow. <laughs> hey. Lots of hard work. But I'm sure once it's landed it'll be well worth it. Thank you. 
equipment, Dave. <laughs> it's not a big fish by any means. It was one of those that you can land very quickly. Um, I must probably put money on a small fish, but he's got no mother, he's got no father. This one has to come out. The fish have turned on in the last half an hour, yeah? Jace went away. Someone else is fighting a small fish down there at the moment. Basically, Jace got these lovely sandy. I got my small honey cone, all in a matter of a couple of minutes apart. Yeah, awesome boot. <laughs> you know the story, because we're well what, done. This is what we live for, guys. Look at these two amazing fish. Uh, how often do you get a sandy and a honeycomb like this, one after another? We said sandies and honeycombs. <laughs> <laughs> well done, let's get these fish back. Try and get another one. But yeah, that's what I live for! 